guys, it's Ashley from Ashley Scott Book Simon, and I am back with another video. Yes, this is going to be a wrap, another wrap up, 2017 wrap up. Woohoo! So it's going to be books 6 through 10, the next 5 that I read. Book number 6 of 2017 was Tales of the Peculiar by Ransom Riggs. This is number 0.5 in the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children series. It's, it's an add-on to this series, so it's little stories from the peculiar world that these peculiar children have grown up with. It's It really reminds me a lot of the Tales of Beetle and the Bard by J.K. Rowling in the Harry Potter series. It's that same kind of thing where it's like little fairy tale kind of stories that these kids have grown up with. I liked it. I liked the little stories that were told. I liked how one of the characters from the series was the one that compiled the little stories together. It is a really pretty book too and I love the woodcut illustrations in it. I like that one. I haven't actually finished Miss Perkins' Home for Peculiar Children series. I've only read the first book, don't yell at me, but I don't feel like it messed me up for anything. I don't feel like I got spoiled by reading it, so I would recommend it. I liked it. Book number seven that I read in 2017 was Every Heart a Doorway by, I'm gonna butcher this, Seanan McGuire. I don't know if that's how you say it. I'm going to say that's how you say it, and we're going to go with that. But this book is a book that got super, super, super hype. Um, everybody loves it. It is a really short little story about these kids who have gone to different worlds through doorways. I think Narnia and Alice in Wonderland and stuff like that where they get transported somewhere else but for some reason these kids have all been they've been sent back and these kids are kids that they don't want to be in their old world anymore they want to be back in the fantastical world but they just can't find their doorways to go back so they're sent to this school that is supposed to help them readjust to the real world but it's really just a school that kind of like takes all these kids that, that can't function in the real world anymore and, and just kind of lets them be. So we've got that aspect and then the other aspect is a murder mystery happens at this school. Somebody is killing students and we have to find out who. So I liked this one but I don't think it deserves the massive amounts of hype that it gets for reasons that are just kind of eh. Um, I thought the beginning of the story was very info dumpy. I didn't really get the different kinds of worlds. It like threw all these um, words at you like highly illogical, high whatever, low whatever, and I, I didn't really get it. The second half of the book was the murder mystery, which I personally enjoyed a whole lot better than the let's dump all this information on you part, but it was too short. The killer wasn't a surprise. You kind of figure that one out. It, it's just a book that should have been longer. And I think if it had been longer, I would have liked it a whole lot more. I do want to read the next book in that series. It's kind of like a prequel following some of the kids from this one in the world that they ended up in. So I think that would be fun. But I think that one's short too. I just It would have been better if it had been longer. It's still good, but not worth the hype in my opinion. The eighth thing I read was Lock and Key, Volume 6, Alpha and Omega. This was by Joe Hill and Gabriel Rodriguez. And this was the last book in the Lock and Key series. So yay me, I finished a series. Yay. So I liked this one. I'm, I've liked the whole series. I thought this was a good ending. Kind of, there were some shocks in it. I liked it. If you want to try graphic novel series, I, I would recommend this one. And six volumes is not a... You're not committed to a super long series when you pick one that only has six volumes. So I definitely would recommend it. I liked it. It was good. Yes. The ninth book that I read was Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova. Probably butchered that too, but you know what? Oh well. This book was about this girl. She is in a family of brujas, so witches. I love witch books. But our main character doesn't want her powers, and she's been late getting them too. Like everybody else in her family already has their 
special talents and she hasn't gotten them but she doesn't really want them when she does get them so she does this thing where she tries to get rid of them it backfires and then she ends up in the world of I think it's Los Lagos I think that's the world I picked this book up because of the cover because the cover sounds good and because it had witches and I love witches and this one just really disappointed me I thought the main character was very dull very boring I don't under I didn't understand why she didn't want the powers that to me just seemed kind of like what the world of Los Lagos I just I found it really kind of sensory overload kind of confusing I didn't really like that and then I really hated this stupid character that just pops up she was unneeded she was only put in there I think for the sake of diversity which I just that's stupid I every time she popped up it was like just go away please I hate you leave and she was there the whole time the character that I did like in here was Nova I thought he was pretty cool I want to know more about him he was more interesting than the main character in my opinion so this one just disappointed me I might continue on with the series maybe for Nova who knows but that character that I hate I just want her to disappear the tenth book that I read in 2017 is Nailbiter Volume 3 Blood in the Water by Joshua Williamson, Mike Henderson, Adam Gazowski, and John J. Hill. This is a comic. That's why there are so many people that created it. This comic series I really like. It is a horror comic series and it's about this former I want to say he's an FBI investigator or maybe he's something else, I'm not sure. But he comes to this town that they call it like the birthplace of serial killers because six serial killers have come from this town. Um, he's brought there because his friend had called him and his friend had been looking into this town and his friend disappears. So he comes and he's trying to find his friend. And it's just... I really like this comic series. It's very dark, it's very creepy, and it is kind of scary. So I really like it. I would definitely recommend that comic series. Yes. So those are, that's my wrap up of the next five books I read in 2017. Hopefully I'll keep up with this and do it again. And I will see you guys in the next video. And if you've read any of these books, let me know. And what did you think of them? Am I crazy in what I thought of them or do you agree with me? Just let me know and I'll see you later. Bye!